This week, the House voted to approve the measure creating an independent commission to investigate the January 6th Capitol attack in Washington, with some rank and file Republicans even voting with Democrats in defiance of their party leaders who warned against the effort. The bill passed by a vote of 252 to 175, with 35 Republicans voting in favor. There was applause in the chamber as House Speaker Nancy Pelosi announced the totals and closed the vote. The measure now heads to the Senate, where its fate is more uncertain. Ken Martin is the chair of the DFL party in Minnesota as it heads to the Senate. And like I mentioned, Ken, its fate is uncertain. What are you hearing? Does it look more likely that the Senate will pass it? I, I don't know. We're certainly hopeful that it uh, is passed. It's important that we get to the bottom of this and that there's actually uh, uh, a reckoning on what happened on January 6th at the, at the U.S. Capitol. And so I, I'm certainly hopeful that we will be able to uh, find out uh, truly what happened and what instigated the attack on the Capitol. It, it's, uh, it's something we've never seen, at least in my lifetime, and uh, we hope to never see again. Yeah, well, uh, it was months ago that Republicans Republicans said that they wanted a commission to investigate this, and then it, that didn't happen. And now that there is the proposal to have a commission, Republicans don't want it, and DFL does. Help me weed through that and why it happened this way. Well, look, it is absolutely disgraceful that every Republican congressional member here in Minnesota voted against a bipartisan commission to get to the bottom of the worst assault on American democracy in living memory. Uh, when Republicans were given the opportunity to defend American democracy, they chose to defend Donald Trump, their own Republican Party, and a violent, lawless mob instead. And, you know, the only thing I can suspect is that the Republicans didn't want to investigate the attack on the Capitol because their actions actually contributed to it. Uh, you know, it's just shameful that we're at this day and age when uh, even the idea of having a bipartisan commission investigate the worst attack on one of the worst attacks, I should say, on our nation, uh, the Republicans refuse to uh, engage. It's just uh, beyond shameful. But my question, Ken, is that Republicans did offer to to establish a commission to look into this months ago, and it was something the Democrats refused to do at that time. So that's where my question is, why, why the about face with Republicans, and why now are Democrats saying, okay, now we'll do it? Well, I don't recall that, actually. I think the Democrats have always been on the side of actually having a bipartisan commission look into this attack. Uh, so I, I'm not sure if that uh, that's factual. The reality is, is that the Democrats have been pushing for this bipartisan commission to look into the attack on our Capitol since January 6th. And that's the Republicans who've been dragging their feet uh, all along the way. And in fact, every Republican in our congressional delegation here in Minnesota voted against uh, authorizing this uh, commission. It's again, uh, I can't speak to it. It's astonishing, by the way, that the same party which thought that Secretary Clinton's emails merited endless scrutiny and the wasting of millions of tax dollars is unwilling to get to the bottom of a violent attempt to overthrow an American election. That's really what this is about. And, you know, look, I can't speak to why the Republicans uh, are not supporting uh, these efforts. Uh, they, they have supported uh, plenty of bipartisan commissions in the past to invest investigate many uh, much less serious uh, actions, in my opinion, than this attack on the Capitol. You'd have to talk to Republicans, but yeah. I know that Democrats here in Minnesota and Democrats throughout the country have supported this bipartisan commission from the beginning. Uh, so what I'm, I'm looking at Congressman Hagedorn's statement and um, had talked to some Republicans about this, and I don't have that answer either. I, I'm trying to figure out, you know, where, where the investigation would have any problems within their party or where they'd have problems within their party with an investigation into this. Um, earlier this week, we had Senate Minority Leader Mitch McConnell uh, coming out against the measure, saying creating a panel of five Republicans, five Democratic appointees, um, while it's a good idea, he was still undecided about it. Uh, Nancy Pelosi yesterday applauding this. It's nonpartisan uh, as far as an effort, but it's very partisan, um, and we're not getting those answers. 
even something as simple as this, which should not be a partisan issue, has become a partisan issue. It's highly polarized in Washington right now. But the idea of getting to the bottom of the one of the worst attacks on our nation in our nation's history uh, has now become a, a partisan is, is is really unfortunate because both Republicans and Democrats should want to get to the bottom of what contributed to this attack on our capital in an attempt to overthrow our government. It should not be partisan, but unfortunately Republicans have made it partisan. There's absolutely no reason why they shouldn't also want to join Democrats in getting to the bottom of this attack. Well, I am asking around, trying to find the answer to that, sir. And when I do, I'll let you know. Uh, I appreciate your time. Thanks for chatting with me about this, Ken. Thank you. Take right. care, Betsy. You too.